Welcome back to the Crucible in Newbury and two more matches from this town shootout series to complete our last 16 fixtures this afternoon. Introducing, first of all, one of the big names during this shootout series, a former World Championship runner-up and twice shootout finalist. He is the bouncer, Simon Fitzsimmons. And standing in his way and a place in tonight's quarterfinal lineup, a man making his Tam shootout debut, a former Jersey Open champion. A huge welcome to Barry Turner. So one quarter-final lineup to find players to play in tonight. And Simon Fitzsimmons next up against Barry Turner. Always a pleasure to watch. And the Welsh wizard Jordan Shepherd just seen at the bar waiting for his turn. I'm sure he wouldn't have wanted to be last on, but hey ho, that's the way it goes. Yeah, random draw. So if you if you called out first match, you won first. No uh Even even Jordan Shepherd, pretty dominant in this uh, event. He doesn't get to choose. He's on when he's on. I think you're right. He would have much preferred to have been first up and had a good six seven hours rest for his next match. Simon Fitzsimmons here. I think he's a former finalist, isn't he, in this event? Former world finalist actually as well. Uh, I think 2017. Great player, We've got a massive break, and we um, just saw it there. Huge break, one of the biggest breaks in the game. And Barry Turner, we don't really know an awful lot about him, do we? I think a qualifier. ideal world I think he'd have liked to have been playing this yellow last and just stunning out punching out for the black into the middle but the angle he had on the yellow he's just played and he couldn't do that so a bit more of a tricky positional shot to play here but he's played it well he's got a nice little flick there he's just apologised to Barry break and finish from Simon Fitzsimmons to take a 1-0 lead and just like that that's how easy it can be shake of the hands game on the way frame on the board See on his sponsor's logo, the Mermaid Club, his local club, Barry. Yeah, just a couple of minutes for that opener. So 
really good break from Barry, and he's, he's unlucky not yeah, to get a ball there. He really did connect well with those. I don't think Simon's going to have much choice but to go for Reds here, given where the cue ball's landed. I think Reds are slightly easier. A bit harsh from Barry. I mean, more than half the balls have ended up in the top end of the table. That's how well he hit them. Yeah, it was... Well, apart from one ball down, it was a wonderful break. Yeah. No printing on Simon's shirt today. No sponsors, no nickname. <laughs> no, normally has the bouncer on yeah. his back. Quite an interesting chat with Simon at the last shoot-up about mini cheddars. <laughs> interesting and, uh, chat. It was a it was a heated debate yeah. between Simon and a couple of others. And I had to I had to go in and stick up for him. Well, what was the debate about? Is it a crisp or a biscuit? Well, it's a biscuit. It's definitely a biscuit. Yeah. yeah. And they were saying it was a crisp. Well, they were wrong. They were wrong. Yeah. I had to step in and sort of uh, so that me and Simon. We know our mini cheddars. They're definitely biscuits. Yeah, I completely concur. I couldn't, I couldn't believe they were even... No. That's why it was getting heat. I, I, well, I'm with you. Yeah. I, I, once, I once had a, a, a live debate on a, on a radio show, and it, it, it went on for some morning about Jaffa cakes. <laughs> right. Are they a cake or are they a, are they a biscuit? Well, I don't like them. Well, that wasn't the question. <laughs> no, but I don't like them so much that I've got... I, I'm not even sure but what you can picture like. a Jaffa cake can't you well from they're, they're soft and gooey and they're yeah. cakes but they're not though because they're tiny so we can't have small cakes well I mean small cakes which come in a packet of about 20 it's definitely not a biscuit though is it it's too soft well so biscuits bi have to be hard surely mm. I mean I, I, I was I was a the complete uh, I mean, for me a, a Jaffa, cake, Jaffa cake is not a cake if it's your birthday and I, and I bring you a Jaffa cake you're, you're annoyed aren't you yeah, but you say where are the candles yeah but the clue's in the name it's a Jaffa cake yeah, but the name doesn't have to be right <laughs> well Walker's crisps are crisps yeah, yeah. they're not cakes are they it, well, if, well, I mean I, I, I don't think I've ever argued that the crisps were cakes I mean that's <laughs> muddying the water somewhat Dan <laughs> Meanwhile, was a that was a Jaffa cake, not a cake. But it isn't. So what is it? A biscuit? It's definitely a biscuit. <laughs> it's not a biscuit. Uh, five minutes into this one, Fitzsimmons with that one on the board. First proper chance for Barry here with um, sort of hand on the table to see what he's got after a break and finish from, from Simon in the first frame. So Barry literally hasn't had a chance yet apart from Simon breaking down on this finish. So we're going to see what he's all about. Barry Turner. on his back there what's he got tornado is it turn or tornado no tip a tornado I've got to ask him what that's all about well, there you are Barry looks like a man he'd know he'd know that a Jaffa cake's a cake Barry he knows that he, well, he, it, he it doesn't like make it a cake just because he's got cake in the title no but it's a bit of a clue isn't it well it's not do you know what a balm cake is now you would have sausage or bacon in that that's not a cake no, this is where that's a bread roll. <laughs> this is going to get out of hand because you call a balm a roll, don't you? And you don't know what a roll is. I'm just is. saying a balm cake is not a cake in the same way that a Jaffa cake isn't a cake. I d I so don't just because it says cake doesn't mean it's a cake. I don't even know what a balm cake is. What's a balm cake? It was something you would, if you asked for a bacon butter, yeah. a balm cake would be. So I think it's a regional thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The difference between I, where I'm from and your, your We from. had this before, yeah, yeah with um, a, a guy I know from Liverpool. 
Yeah, so, so I call it a bacon roll and you'd call it a bacon balm, is that right? No, I wouldn't call it, no, I wouldn't call it a balm, I'd, I'd, I'd call it a butty. But, but balm cakes are something you would get it in. Not always. <laughs> My point being that it's got cake in the title, which doesn't make it a cake. Anyway, chance for Barry. <laughs> oh, he's played that well. That's a great shot. It's very unlucky, actually. That could have come out ahead of a lot better than it did. I think he's got to play this yellow as well. The yellow that's closest to the black. Clip half ball off of that yellow and push the black onto this back cushion and take the white up table. By going for this up there, you see, see what I mean? He can just clip off the, the yellow on the left-hand side. He can just clip off the right-hand side of that and push the black towards. This is fraught with danger. This is so difficult. And fair play to him. We got so close there as well. It's great effort. Yeah, he can't get any effort. closer without dropping, but that won't show on the scoreboard. The scoreboard will show 2-0. Well, I think you could have played a safety there, Barry. Well, there we go. 2-0 to the favourite, the bouncer. The bouncer will know. If he wins this match, <laughs> we'll have him here after, you know, and after. We'll have a little chat with him about his match. And then he'll... It'll, it'll set us straight. So if he wins this, he could potentially be playing Jordan Shepherd if all goes to form. Oh, what a contest that would be. What a match that would be. That would be the, the fourth quarter final. So that would be around about 10 o'clock this evening, I think. Half nine, ten, something like that, depending on the speed of the first three. Yeah. I can't wait for the first quarter final. Jordan, is it jo it's Jordan Church? Jordan Church and uh, John. And John McAllister. McAllister. What match that's going to be. Massive break again from Simon. Huge. This isn't him breaking well. This is how he breaks all the time. This is no fluke. He's not. He's not having a good day. He always breaks like this. Oh, I've just Googled Jaffa Cake or Biscuit. Oh, this is extraordinary. It's going to say us something else. No, it's We've got a third player. I mean, it's... It, it, is it, it actually toilet roll? Well, Jaffa Cakes are biscuit-sized cakes. OK, so advantage to you, I would say. Yeah. Introduced by the manufacturers in the UK in 1927s and named after Jaffa Oranges. The classification as a cake or biscuit was part of a VAT tribunal in 1991, with the court finding in the manufacturer's favour that the Jaffa cake should be considered a cake for tax purposes. So they do call it a cake for tax reasons. So I, I don't think that's any clearer in my head. Well, it's official. Well, it, you know, that's... So there's... Do, do you believe the tax man on everything he says? <laughs> you got no choice, I'm afraid. <laughs> well, 1-0 me. Well, it's, a, it's a minefield. I, I didn't expect the tax man to be the third player <laughs> no, I, I have to say. And I thought you were checking the football scores. That's a great shot from Simon Fitzsimmons. That is fantastic. 3-0 in 11 minutes. Yeah, two breaks and two finishes from Simon Fitzsimmons. That's um, unplayable. And Barry doesn't look too happy. I'm going to chat with his pals. Keeps breaking like that. What am I supposed to do? He could be sat in a hammock right now, couldn't he? <laughs> he just looks so relaxed, so confident. Knows he's playing well. 3-0 in no time at all. Another big, big break from Barry. And he's got a ball this time as well, so he's in first. Made a couple of balls. We haven't really had much chance to see what he's made of, have we? No. He'll be thinking, blimey, is this what the shootout's all about? <laughs> Travel all this way to Newbury, sit down, and this happens. It's supposed to be fun. Not yet. That's Plenty a great of time. shot. 
first up to open the frame up as well because when he takes the uh, the first red, the second one's going to go. And what's worked in his favour is the speed at which Simon Fitzsimmons has built that 3 0 lead. Yeah, he's still got plenty of time to get back into it. That hasn't gone to plan though. Did you want any football scores? Who, who, who's your team? Well, I'm from Reading, so we've just got a new manager. Right. Who was the director of football that sacked the manager and then took his job. <laughs> That's one way of doing it. Yeah. He was the director of football. Um, his previous football job was uh, he was assistant to Mark Hughes at, I think, his last three jobs consecutively, which Mark Hughes, I think, got the sack from because he didn't do very well at them. And now he's Reading's manager, so I can't I can't say I'm over the moon. And a Reading nil, Preston nil, 86 minutes. Yeah. Went to watch him the other day against Fulham, who looked amazing. And 3-0 um, down after half an hour with a man sent off and I had to walk out. Not, not such a loyal royal. Yeah. It was the player sent off that made me do it. 3-0 <laughs> <laughs> down on the stage. But. Now Barry here is just... Uh, it's just it, he's just overhit that slightly. He's had to obviously play the plant the previous shot and he's just run out of position. Just get forced into taking this cut on. He hasn't got it. There's plenty of work to do for Simon, but it's so much easier coming to a messy table when you're 3 0 up. Chance we'll see Simon player safety. Probably, probably not his natural way, but there's an easy safety he could play up top table if he wanted to. It's not his style. Maybe he'll do it now. Well, he, he's thinking to. He, he wants to wait to clear here, but his hand may be forced. I think. Yeah. He wouldn't have wanted to do that. No, and the, the shot previously, when the white was in the, the very centre of the table, instead of potting the yellow he potted previously, he could have played this shot, but flicked off the red, that he, the, the yellow that he's right next to now first, and still left the white where it was, so it had developed both balls. But, um, he was trying to go the aggressive route. Barry's got, Barry's got a good chance in this frame. This is far from over. This is the key shot. Yeah, I think he's going to have to... I don't think he can play this dead weight now either. He's going to have to st stun this across table, bring the white over towards the left-hand middle pocket. He's played it well. He's not missing. It's the generous pocket there. It's just, just caught that near knuckle, but fresh cloth, and he's played it soft enough. This for 4 nil. He's taking it. Oh, oh no! Simon. Oh, well, wow, wow. we've seen how quickly these matches can turn. And you can see that Barry's a decent player as well. And oh, wow, wow. Well, wow. should have been 4 0. It's going to be 3 1. 13 to go. Advantage, Simon, yes. But 4 0 would have been game over, and game over it is not. Where did that miss come from? Oh, he's got a lifeline, Barry Turner.
See the referee sponsored there? It's quite a good idea, really, isn't it? I yeah. suppose you, they're, the, they're, the, they're the one person that's guaranteed a lot of matches on TV, you aren't you? The, I suppose, if you're you know the referee. referees in my sport rugby league, do you know who they're sponsored by? No. Spec Savers. Now, do they do glasses <laughs> or do they do. <laughs> True story. They really? Yeah. Saw a, saw a gap to poke a bit of fun. And the yeah. uh, marketing deal was signed and sealed. So 15 second shot clock. Still time if Barry wins this one. You'd say if he doesn't, that'll be it. There's only one thing that can go wrong here, and that's the angle that Simon leaves himself on the yellow in the very centre of the table, because uh, he used that one to come down table for the for the last yellow next to the black. He just has to leave himself the right angle. Doesn't want to go too far. I think that's perfect, absolutely perfect. And this is looking like 4-1, but. We said this a few seconds ago, it might have been 4-0. Yeah, this is done. Yeah, swift reply, best way to banish the memory of a frame that should have been yours and goes to your opponent is just to win the next one in double quick speed. And that's exactly what Simon Fitzsimmons has done. 4-1, one away from another place in the quarterfinals. Is that three breaks and three finishes? Or did Barry get him first there? I think he's... I think we were too. I think we were neck high in Jaffa, Jaffa cake debate at the time. <laughs> I can't remember. I think we were. So just one seed has gone out so far. Liam Bullock disposes of Matt Lawrence, and all of the other seeds have won. And we've got the biggest seed of them all. Not literally. Um, biggest seed of them all coming up next in Jordan Shepherd. Yeah, he's been biding his time. He was drawn out in the last match, so he's just been here watching the pool all day, trying to get his head on. I see a bit of exhibition stuff here from Simon. Got a great plant first up. It's a brilliant cut there. He's still chasing. This cannon goes right, this could be curtains. It hasn't. Wiped its feet. that nice this is some finish I mean don't get me wrong he's in he's in <laughs> he's in exhibition mode because he's fallen up and there's only eight minutes left but what a finish from brilliant this absolutely season. brilliant from the bouncer handshake and a victory for Simon Fitzsimmons, a dominant victory at that, 5-1. He books his place against either, and what a contest this would be in the quarterfinals, either Jordan Shepherd, who has owned this town shootout series, or a late call-up to the event, the local boy, John Joe Sharkey. And that's the final match of the last 16, and that's coming up shortly.